Welcome back, boys and girls. We are now going to make the bottom half of our box, okay? You'll want to take the smaller square of your two papers and set that in front of you. And we're gonna then bring the bottom up to the top. We're just gonna fold that neatly. Now, I want you to be kind of picky about how you line your paper up each time we fold and really get nice strong creases in your paper as well, okay? So we've got the bottom folded up to the top. We're gonna unfold that and then fold one side to the other. So we're folding it in half basically twice, okay? We really wanna line that side up well also and crease that really neatly. Give that a nice strong crease right there and then we're gonna open it up one more time. You should be able to see four squares created by those two folds that we just made. Now we're going to fold from the corner to the middle. So we're gonna use those fold lines that we made to line up neatly with this corner. We're putting this corner into the corner fold that's in the middle. And again, we wanna get a nice firm crease on our paper. Because it's easier for me to fold in this direction, I'm just gonna turn my paper now and do the same thing again. So now this is gonna to come to the middle and you should be able to see these two lines lining up really nicely with each other. We'll crease that very well. Oops, I didn't get that one quite lined up like I want it. I'm gonna try that again. Okay, and then we're gonna turn it and do the same thing with the next corner. Bring that to the middle and give it a nice firm crease. And the same thing with the last corner. We're gonna bring that to the middle also and give that a nice firm crease. Okay, so now we have a, another square with all those little triangle points in the middle. The next thing we're gonna do is bring the bottom edge, this bottom fold, up to the middle of our paper. So it's gonna go right where those corners are meeting and we're gonna put a good strong crease right there. It's good to go over these creases a couple times. Then we're gonna flip this over and do the same with the other side. Fold that to the middle, give that a nice strong crease then we're gonna unfold those two that we just folded, okay? So we have these two that we folded to the middle. Now we wanna fold the other two sides to the middle. Origami requires a lot of folding, and a lot of times you'll find you fold and then you unfold. It's kind of interesting, but you use those creases later. They're really important. Get a nice strong crease on that side when you fold it up. You can spin it around and do the same again on that last side. And then we can open that up, okay? Now we have a whole lot of folds on here and these are gonna be really useful in this next step, okay? I'm gonna have you take the triangle on the bottom and peel it back and take the triangle on the top and peel it back, okay? Then we're going to put this fold back in on the side, okay? So this is the same, it's the same crease that we did before. We're just going to bring it back up, okay? And same on the other side. So we opened the triangles out at the top and the bottom, and then we brought those creases back up on the side, okay? Now this part, you can totally do this, but it's just a little bit tricky. It's the trickiest part of the whole deal. You're gonna take, I would take this top flap and hold this right side, okay? And you're gonna bring the top flap up to the right side. Do you see how that stands up right there? If I tip this a little bit, you can see it's kind of standing up. And then we're gonna just kind of press those creases there so they stay put. And we wanna do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna bring that side flap up and press that crease real well. And then, this is really cool, this part is gonna fold down and in 
and make the edge of our box. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Then just because it's easier for me to fold from the top, I'm going to flip this around. And again, we're going to bring this bring this side up. So we'll hold this right part here and lift this up. And you kind of have to babysit these corners. You have to kind of get that to tuck in. Can you see how that tucks in? All those folds are already there, but you just have to kind of get them going the right way and then give them a nice kind of squeeze to keep them in place. And then the same thing on this side. If you hold here and you lift this up, that should hopefully come right up to the side and you can kind of squish along those edges. And then you just have to fold this part down. There's already a crease there that should hopefully fold down nicely for you right over the top. Okay, and then if you, especially if you've done a good job with your creases, making sure that they're nice and tight, you should have the bottom of your box. Isn't that fun? I am gonna stop the video and have you play it one more time to fold the top of your box. Okay, and then when you have the top and the bottom, you will be able to fit the top right over the bottom and you'll have a complete box. Good job boys and girls.